So welcome guys to a quick update. I've been, if you guys have witnessed, having a few issues with some sort of, honestly something, I don't know if it's an algae or a bacteria. I'm really starting to believe it's a, a bacteria. I, I mean, I don't know. You guys can look for yourself. It <clears throat> Very interesting texture. It's kind of like a transparent, uh, yet fuzzy. It's not green at all. It's, you know, a little bit, I would say, if anything, it's a little bit goldish. But, um, been dealing with that. And uh, luckily, it seemed to be quite, you know, dying off. I think it's been doing a lot better. At least it's been getting a lot better on the sand bed. There's pretty much none left. Um, and that's really been maintained with uh, with water changes, all I've been doing. I had two options, either go the chemical route or the natural route. I chose to, got some fingerprints, change, or sorry, chose to do the natural route. <clears throat> so, uh, doing a water change here, I have this little interesting, it's something I highly recommend for pretty much anybody in reefing. This is a 10 gallon brute can. You can see it's a little, this is a five gallon bucket. It's a little bit bigger. But this here, it's just so much easier to, to do. Also, you can't, you really can't ever miss your handy dandy um, clamps. So as you guys are aware, we do have the whole outbreak with the coronavirus going out. So I highly recommend if you are having any issues with your tank, you know, we're gonna spend a lot of our time at home right now would not be a bad time to get your tank back on the right track. So that's kind of what I'm doing here today. I've recently also switched over to Tropic Marin Salt. I'll probably have a video just talking about the salt in the future if you guys want to witness it. Uh, so far, can't complain. I really uh, like how it mixes so quickly. Uh, probably one of the quickest mixing salts I've ever owned. Believe it or not, within 15 minutes, it'll, I think it's been mixing for about five minutes right now. Another 10 minutes, it'll be ready to go in the tank. But the main reason I switched to this stuff is because uh, to start the Triton method, you kind of have to be closer to 8.0 uh, alkalinity. I think this stuff mixes about 7.8, so just shy of 8.0. Uh, you know, I could buff it out, but I'm not doing too big of water changes, so it really doesn't matter to uh, have to buff it out. So a good rule of thumb always when performing a water change, you guys know I like to siphon the whole sand bed. You can see the whole thing has pretty much been turned over. And you kind of know you're in a pretty good spot when you're able to siphon, you know, I pretty much did more than half of it. And look, there's really nothing that came up. I mean, just a little bit dusting here. Um, if you've never done this, you don't want to stir up too much of it, just two small quarter sections, you know, once, twice a week, because uh, you don't want to stir up any really bad nutrients that will accumulate on the bottom. But now you can see it's, uh, it's pretty good. On my handy little clamp here allows me to, to walk away from it and kind of just wait for it to fill up and then we can turn everything back on. Best part, once you're done with the water change, I think the most rewarding part is always turning on your return pump. Waiting for the water to kick on. Then turning on your flow uh, schedule. There they go. Everything's already ramped up. And then at this point, just wait for this to, uh, the level in here to drop a little bit, and then we can turn on the skimmer. And pop this on real quick. And there we go. Now the cup's a little bit crooked. Maybe take out all the little bubbles on the silencer. There we go. Not the bubbles, but the uh, the water. And that's pretty much it. The auto top off didn't kick in, which means we did the right level. Everybody looks nice and happy. I'd really love to hear your guys' input on what you believe this algae is. Um, Again, I don't believe it is an algae. I really, really think it's a bacteria. But, you know, what better way than having all you guys here comment, give me your input on what you believe it is. I do have an assumption on what I think caused this. Um, I'll probably save that for a future video. But for now, I'd love to hear down in the description what you guys think this is. Um, you know, is it a algae? Is it a type of hair algae? Is it a wild type of algae? 
uh, or is it a type of bacteria? So again, love to hear what you guys have to say. Write down in the comments uh, below. Let me know what you think it is and hopefully, uh, you know, I can find a way to combat it. As of now, it seems like the water changes are doing very well. So thank you guys very much for watching. As always, happy reefing.